Okay. I, it's funny, it's just a coincidence <laughs> that the other night I was, was it last night? I was talking about yeah. the old clotheslines that the older generation used to have. And we had it here. And I explained it to her that there was a pole and it had a wire or a rope strung from two point, two anchor points. And it was kind of had a sag in it and you'd put a stick in and a steeple or something and you'd drive it up when it's are you paying attention? <laughs> I'm paying attention. So today she did the laundry and we took down the clothesline that was connected to the house because we got the silver board on there on the on this side. So she came out and was asking me, what do you want me to do with the clothes? Is that the correct way you put it? Because I said it wrong earlier. What's wrong? She's falling. She's falling. She has a hard time standing up today. So, where was I? So then, uh, yeah. To, so today she was saying, "Where do I? What do I do with the clothes?" And because we didn't have a clothesline, and I said, "Well, I don't know." I said, "She said we could hang them up in the house because we do have a little wire there." And I said, "That's quite." And so this is what I did. I, I had an idea in my head. My father used to hang his nets from here and string them out into a pole. <laughs> Careful. Get an eye. You get a finger in the eye here. <laughs> and so, yeah, my father used to use these little holes on the barn here. So I thought while I was in the house, it just dawned on me. I'm like, here's a perfect opportunity to show her how these old clotheslines are made. So that's what I did. I went in the barn. Hold me up there again. <laughs> I had to lean into the barn here and I, I had to get her to hold me like that. And she was shaking like she is now. And I was like, don't, don't do that. You're making me nervous. So I, I, I got an eye bolt here and I, and I just put a nut on it like that. And it's good and solid. And I had one of these little clip rings here and I had some lots of rope. You let me go now. Set me free. Okay. So, we got this rope and I tied it over to this tree here. And I asked her, I said, would that would that be long enough for you? And yeah, she said, yeah, that'd be great, James. That looks really good. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. I'm kind of shortening up. She really is. <laughs> She really, she really said, like, my God, James, that's perfect. How did you think of something so, like, and I was like, well, I grew up in an older house, and I go, the older generation stuff rubbed off on me, that practical, practicality kind of stuff. So I tied it around here, and the excess stuff, I just, I just dropped it down here. I got a big spool of it, so we could use rope for other things later. <laughs> And uh, so it's got a little, uh, what are you laughing at? So it's got a little stretch to it here. But anyway, I said, I need a stick. So we'll come back over this way. You follow me now, keep up. I was kind of learning it, not learning it, but I was like experiencing it for the first time because I never made one of these before, but I understood the science. <laughs> a lot of science going on here at the Ford residence. So I got a, I got an old stick. This is one I just cut off the mill and some of it's kind of, kind of rotten. What you, what is that song? It's better be important. No, it's the, it's the song. <laughs> what? It's the science song. The she sign? blinded me with, blinded me, me with, with science. <laughs> blinded me with science. She blinded me with science. She blinded me with science. That one. Blinded me yeah. with science. That one, sorry. Yeah. But you didn't blind me with any science. <laughs> I was blinded by the science. He blinded me with science. <laughs> he blinded me with science. So I use this eye bolt. Looks more like the letter O. And I get a long stick here. Donut. This is what she looked like when I was like, I grabbed it. And I said, <laughs> see, you just got to do this here and stick it in the ground, right? Now it's a lot higher. 
And I said, when you want it, right? You gotta just go like this, walk it over here. And look at that. Even you can reach that. It's so low. I thought, I gotta record this because this is a moment in time. Oh. This is her, this is our first clothesline we built together. <laughs> think she'd be crying. <laughs> You're right, James, it is. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. So this is pretty solid. I was going to try and, and walk <laughs> on it, but... Uh, not, not the boat will bend, I think. So, yeah. So this worked out. It's got a little bit of a bow to it. But anyway, I got the bow the wrong way. The bow should be... I could flip the stick over the other side and you could push it up that way. It's a multi-faceted stick, <laughs> this one. Oh, I get you. <laughs> I want to get you with the stick. Man, the back stick with the with the bolt to the end. So yeah, so go, why don't you get your, get your, let's go and get the clothes. We'll do We're going to take a walk with us. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at the sun just shining. Them. Look. Oh, On you? Look. Uh -uh. A nice little angel shot there. Oh. <laughs> Why? Are you? What is so funny? Hi. Hi. You're funny. I know. <laughs> I, I, I explained that to you last night now. Yeah. You could have made that, couldn't you? Would you ever like think to yourself, okay, what can I do? hang clothes up when you went in to get the stick i got it you figured it out well no i remembered seeing it in movies oh yeah the, yeah. the stick kind of just yeah. hanging yeah. the mm -hmm. stick's hanging there's brody hey brody i watch the cats who come out right, right behind you i always want to escape the prison so here we go <laughs> well, I think they just had it like an old wire, and it was on one of them trees that blew down. I remember we used to have to cut around it, but we didn't really cut grass back then a long time ago. <laughs> we just let the grass grow. Nobody cares. You just have to be careful running. Maybe you won't, but so that you don't get your neck. Yeah, I was running around here the other night, remember? Uh, yeah, don't, well, it'll be up. We'll try and keep it up. <laughs> okay, uh, where do you want to start? Do you want to share the job? Uh -huh. Well, let's get started here. We're days wasting off the sun setting here. I, I got to cut grass yet. I got an hour and a half of grass to cut. I can't be inventing stuff and creating stuff and I don't know. making you your life easier all the time. That'd be good. Anyway. Should I hang them up something? Yeah, I don't care what you do. Well, I'm just all day. As long as the raccoons and stuff don't get crawling in it at night. Oh, well, it's fantastic. Well, the old folks never, I never heard them talk about raccoons wearing their pants. So we'll see what this looks like here in a few minutes, because this could be time consuming. <laughs> um, I'll get involved here and we'll speed things up. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty good, I think. Let's, let's see, what, do the test. Let's see if you can run this thing. Don't put your weight on it. Just... <laughs> Bad if it fell apart. Yeah. Yeah, or higher. Oh, that's, well, yeah, I got to get under with the mower. I'll have to be careful not to spray it with grass. Hey, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I got the thumbs up. 